What's up, queens? Thank you for checking out my channel. Um, today's video is gonna be all about my freelance makeup kit. I've been freelancing for, I wanna say, a, oh my God, hold up, quick math. Since I was 17 and I'm 31. So do the math, a long time. Um, so. With that, I've accumulated a lot of stuff in my makeup kit. I filmed this video, I wanna say maybe five-ish years ago. Same case, similar products, a lot of newbies, a lot of things that have changed, been reorganized. I'm constantly rearranging and organizing and buying new things anyways for my kit. So today's video, I'm gonna deep clean it, I'm gonna organize it, I'm gonna show you how I keep it all packed and, and stored and everything for my freelance clients. <laughs> I am a traveling makeup artist, so um, I go any and everywhere I need to for the sake of my clients, which is nice. I um, think that's all I have to say. If you want to check out my older version, excuse me, I do, I will link that below. Again, I think I filmed it a pretty long time ago. Um, so yeah, if you need a little cleaning motivation, organization, if you just like looking at makeup, if you're building your kit for the first time, hopefully maybe this will give you um, a little bit of inspo on how I like to pack things. Again, I'm always changing this. For some, this might be a lot of stuff. For others, this might be practically nothing. Everyone's different. Like, you do you, I'ma do me. I hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> and I think that's all I have for now. My next video will be a tutorial, so check that out if you're interested. My Instagram handle will be linked down below. It's just janag underscore. What else? Subscribe if you're not. Why are you not? You should be. It's free and it takes one second. So help you girl out. I appreciate it. Like, share. Let's get the JG family blooming. It is so rainy here. Nothing's, everything's blooming but not blooming. I don't even know where that word came from. Blooming? Am I, am I Martha Stewart? Like, girl, <laughs> let me get into the clips of me cleaning and organizing my kit before I lose my mind and embarrass myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video. And if you want to see my kit, just keep watching. Let's go. So here is my traveling freelance rolling makeup case. If some of you guys tuned into my uh, freelance makeup kit from, I want to say maybe five years ago, this is the same one, tried and true. I've definitely done some reorganizing and cleaning and all that fun stuff, but she has been holding me down since then. So. It is from the brand Sia or Seya, S-E-Y-A. I have it laid out on a towel right now because obviously there's makeup, accidents happen, overflow of shadows and liquids and things can um, like overspray and things like that. So anyways, this is why this lovely beige towel is on the ground. And let's go ahead and get into how I organize it, store it, and what I keep in my kit. Okay, so in the top case here, when you lift the lid up, I try to keep this um, 
kind of as empty and as light as possible because it's really easy to overflow and then this gets extremely heavy when you're trying to carry it upstairs and a lot of the jobs that I do I go up a lot of stairs <laughs> so this is what I keep in the front a few compartments of products um, I usually have a box of Kleenex in here as well but I just ran out and I have a new one downstairs to refill but I just don't have it in at the moment so let's go ahead and pull everything out and you can see what I keep in each compartment all right, so in each of these pouches, these two larger ones in particular came with the actual rolling makeup case. Um, they do have Velcro on the bottom if you wanted to attach it inside of the lid, but I prefer to just keep it free floating so I can see what's inside. So in this particular case, I have all my disposables, Q-tips, makeup wipes, I have two containers of sponges, and then I also have a box of disposable eyelash uh, wands or mascara wands coming in at the moment from Amazon because I just cleaned everything out and needed more of those. In the second one, I keep all of my eyelashes. I have um, individuals on top. I have some more moderate to dramatic on the left. And then I have my wispies on the bottom. And then in this mini Zuka zipper bag, I have all, all of my MAC lipsticks. There's really no way to <laughs> organize these any better. I really just worked there for so long that I know the names and color shades of most. So I really just kind of sift through um, the names when I'm looking for a particular color. I'm doing mostly um, bridal makeup. 90% of these are like nude and neutral. And then in my second mini Zuka container, I have all of my pressed pigments in eyeshadows. I have a couple of eyeshadow bases, a primer, um, a gel liner, and then again, these are all pressed pigments and a few ColourPop uh, pressed shadows as well. I did kind of declutter and get rid of a ton of other glitters that were just old or the colors were a bit too dramatic so I do like having a little bit of space in here to obviously add and grow and continue to add new products. And then in this cute little clear container, I think it's like a pencil pouch, I believe I got this at Michael's years ago, but it has uh, one divider in between and I keep um, all of my mascaras, mascara primer, uh, what's at the bottom? Uh, brow, gel, and two liners there. And then on this side is um, eyeshadow primers, a mixing medium. I have another eyeshadow primer, scissors, eyelash applicator, two hair clips to, oh, to pin people's hair back if I can reach it, like so. I have a sharpener, and then I have three... Um, brush on lash glue. This one in particular is, whoops, is my favorite. It's the duo brush on lash adhesive, the one with the green writing. I think it's the strongest. And then I also have that same version, but in black. And then in this little zipper pouch, this is actually another Amazon purchase and it is a pencil pouch. Originally, when I was taking my college classes for dental hygiene, I kept all of my highlighters and pens and pencils in here. And once I graduated, I turned it into my lip liner um, case. Some of my little shorties down here, like my very well-loved tiny ones, like Teddy, Icole, what else is in here? Spice. All of the really pretty neutrals that I use all the time, they fit on this smaller compartment and then um, I'll know which ones are low that I need to repurchase. Like this little guy, strip down, he can go over there and I will repurchase that one. There's nothing in the bottom at the moment. And then it has a second, oh, that little guy fell out. Let me zip this one. And then in the second one is really overflowing, but this is um, more of like my neutral to mid-tone colors. The first one was a lot of bright pigments. Um, again, just more lip liners. And then on this side, I have like all of my fun bright eyeliners, like blue, green, yellow, like more for theatrical Halloween looks that I don't typically reach for 
all the time. All right, now let's go ahead and unzip the front wrap and we will get into all of the bags on the bottom half. Alrighty, so the larger two Zuka cases that I keep at the very bottom, they might actually be the extra large. One is for all of my face products. So in the back here, I keep a clear powdered container organizer or I guess this would be called acrylic. I keep all of my mineral powders from light to dark, and then my three um, select sheer powders for setting in the front. I have a light, medium, and dark as well. So that fits perfectly there. Then I have, this is in the way. I have a few extra powders here in the front. I have a MAC. This is from a limited edition Rocky Horror Picture Show collection. Normally it doesn't have this big um, logo. Sorry about the glare. It doesn't have this big logo on it, but it's just the original invisible MAC translucent powder. I have two Ben Nye, which are going to be on my reorder as well here, seeing as how low they are. But I have the um, Ben Nye Banana Powder and the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. This is just a hard candy mineralized highlighting powder. I have a few Studio Fix powders, another mineral highlighting powder, and a Sephora contouring powder. And then in my second extra large Zuka bag, I keep all of my MAC eyeshadow palettes. So these are what is that? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I almost forgot. <laughs> These are the 15 eyeshadow color palettes. I try and keep them in a similar color wave. Obviously. I've got purples. And obviously my two neutrals are probably the most loved and used. I like keeping them in this container because it fits them perfectly and they don't slide around and have the potential to crack and break while I'm traveling. These three square clear containers came from Amazon, so I will find the link for you guys if you're interested. They were definitely cheaper than um, my Zuka and Mac bags, but this one I'm not even going to open because as you can tell it has so many different loose glitters in here. The glare is intense, sorry. But this is where I keep all of my loose glitters. I have a lot that I um, like kind of depotted and compartmentalized into these stackable containers from Michaels that I labeled from years ago. And then I just have a ton of other um, individually packed MAC glitters from over the years. This is my, kind of like my hygiene essentials. I keep my moisturizer, my Cinema Secrets brush cleanser. I just um, transfer that into like a small uh, Ulta container. Hand sanitizer, my mixing palette, antibacterial hand wipes. I've got, uh, what is that, rubbing alcohol, a couple of face sprays, and some makeup remover. This one I downsized substantially. It was super full and super heavy, but a ton of the colors were just expired and not that appealing, to be honest. So these are all of my lip glosses in no particular order. And last but not least is foundations and concealers. This is a MAC bag that I keep them in and I like it because it's deep and rectangular, right? So it holds all of my foundations. I have them upside down so that most of these are Studio Fix fluids. I love using Studio Fix fluids. It photographs beautifully. It lasts a long time and their color match is pretty, pretty accurate. Um, I keep them upside down so that obviously all the product will um, kind of go towards the pump at the bottom and I will be able to see exactly what color I need. I also have a few Jordana Complete Coverage cream foundations, some MAC Face and Body here in the front. That is a water-based foundation that is more of a light to medium buildable coverage. It's great for more mature skin or if you're working on really, really young clients. And then I have concealers on this side. Um, Love the Color Pop Concealer. I have some NYX concealers. And then I have my MAC 
Studio Finish Concealing Palettes in the front and my deeper shade on the side. And last but not least, what I keep um, on the side that I carry with is this little handy dandy, um, I guess it's a hair carrying case, which I just filled to the brim and broke. Can you see that? <laughs> I just ripped the handle. It's hanging on by a literal thread. So that's also going to be in my need to order form. So what I keep in here are all of my blush and highlighting palettes. These two are from MAC. These are all also MAC Pro face setting powders, highlighting and contouring shades in here. I have my Morphe 350 neutral eyeshadow palette. I have my BH Cosmetics lipstick palette. I have a highlighting and contour from Sephora palette. I have a Tiny Z palette that I keep all of my eyebrow colors in to do brows. I have a handheld mirror from NYX. I just have an extra, can I get that in the frame? Extra Morphe setting spray that I keep in the container. I have an accordion uh, fan that I keep. And on the back, I keep my two Morphe, actually, this larger one is from Morphe. This is my brush canister for my face brushes. And this one is from RC Cosmetics. This is my, this one is very loved and have had, I've had it for years. Uh, my RC Cosmetics small brush canister for eye brushes. I have two additional blush palettes from BH Cosmetics, a little bit brighter, a little bit neutral. On the side, I keep a pack of gum and a pack of mints, some of my business cards, and lastly, two body shimmers. I don't use these a ton, so I just keep them on the side because they're a little bit large and bulky. That's it for my kit, you guys. For now, things are always subject to change, like I said, but if you liked it, Please leave me a comment, a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I know it's a lot of work, right? Like to be a viewer and a subscriber, we're asking you to do a lot. I'm sorry, but it really helps your girl, okay? It's a struggle out here. Everybody on their grind. So I'll help you, girl. I'm going to help you. Let's be friends. <laughs> I have to sit on my hands. Otherwise, it's like competition are you listening to me are you watching me are my hands in the way are they annoying probably but what can you do so that's it for today you guys thank you for watching please leave your suggestions down below and i'll see you in my next video right right bye y'all <laughs>